All right, folks, I am back with you once again, and it is time now for a... And we're going to do something a bit different here. Now, of course, as you know, the Pokemon anime has been going strong for the last 20 years or so on TV. So now, I'm going to go over with you some of my favorite episodes of the anime from the first season. So essentially covering the uh, Indigo League era. So here we go. And uh, among my, uh, one of my favorites that I would have from Gen 1 would be the very first episode which is Pokemon I Choose You. This is not only the first episode in the series as a whole, but it's also the episode where we get introduced to some of the main characters. Where we, or in this case, a main character, that being Ash, and of course another the main character being Pikachu, who have, of course has since gone on to be the uh, mascot of the Pokemon franchise. And this episode, of course, of course also introduces us to Misty, See now, of course, she's this really gym leader, but Ash doesn't know that yet at this point. And, uh, of course, you remember near the end of this episode, Ash kind of makes off of her bike in order to save Pikachu from some Spearow. Oh, anyway, a very good episode, and like I said, the very first episode of the series as a whole. Uh, the next one on my uh, favorites list here would probably be the third episode of the series because this one is the one where Ash makes his makes his first Pokemon catch in the series. Uh, of course, you remember in the very first episode he tried to catch a Pidgey, but of course it broke out of the ball because well because. Ash was stupid in the first season and tried to catch Pidgey by just throwing a Pokeball at it. Uh, newsflash for new trainers, that is not how Pokemon works. First you... Uh, works. And the thing is, in that first episode, Ash did try to have Pikachu battle the Pidgey, but it would not listen to him. And, uh, and so, yeah. And uh, Ash actually catches two Pokemon in this particular episode, this uh, third one. He catches Caterpie, which evolves into Metapod near the end, and he also catches Pidgeotto, which is Pidgey's evolved form. In this episode, of course, is also the second appearance in the series of the wacky Team Rocket, Jesse, James, and Meowth, who are pretty much dead set on stealing Pikachu and will do whatever they can to get their hands on the little electric mouse. So, yeah, there you go. Another uh, one of my favorites list from season one would definitely have to be the Charmander episode. Now, of course, this is, uh, of course, in this episode, this was the one where they come across Charmander on a rock, and it's waiting for its trainer to come back for it and everything. But it turns out that the original trainer lied to Charmander by saying that he was going to come back for it without ever actually intending to do so. And uh, they come across this trainer when they're in a Pokemon Center waiting out at a rainstorm, and... I mean, he's uh, showing off all his Pokeballs with all his uh, Pokemon in there. And then, and then the moment that he mentions about Charmander, well, oh, that's when uh, Brock goes over there and uh, gives him a piece of his mind. So, yeah, Brock was uh, pretty cool during Season 1, but he also uh, wasn't afraid to call out other trainers for, uh, for not... Uh, for for abandoning their Pokemon or something like that, and like that, 
And another thing that bugs me about this particular episode is how the heck did Damien have all his Pokeballs with him when trainers are only supposed to have six Pokemon on them at once? That I don't quite understand. Anyways, moving on. Next up on this list would be Electric Shock Showdown. This, of course, is the episode where Ash goes for his Thunder Badge at the Vermilion City Gym, and he has a one-on-one -on -one battle with Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Now, he already... Now Ash has Bulbasaur with him at this point, and since Grass types are, are usually supposed to have advantage over Electric types, you'd think that would be the logical choice, but Ash decides to send his Pikachu out in the battle. And yeah, in the first uh, in the first go of this, Pikachu gets absolutely destroyed by Raichu. And then when Pikachu's recovering in the Pokemon Center, everyone Ash is trying to think of a way of how he can win. That's when Nurse Joy gives him a Thunderstone and makes the suggestion that Ash evolve Pikachu into Raichu. So, uh, Ash gives Pikachu that choice of becoming Raichu, but naturally, Pikachu refuses, as he's dead set on beating that Raichu as a Pikachu. So then when they go for the rematch, it's a lot closer than the first time around, and Pikachu is able to, uh, was able to tire Raichu out enough to make Lieutenant Surge's Pokemon run out of electricity, and Pikachu ends up winning that one. Now, before, I should also point out, but before some of you call me out for spoiling these, uh, these episodes came out like 20 years ago, and probably everyone and their mother has seen them by now, so no, they're not spoilers. But anyway, Pikachu ends up beating Raichu, and Ash ends up getting his Thunder Badge, because, apparently, well, according to Brock, uh, Surge had evolved his uh, Raichu as Pikachu much too quickly, meaning it couldn't learn the speed attacks and it could only learn as a Pikachu. Attacks like uh, Agility, Swift, etc. And then another one... And another one, of course, would have to be, uh, let me think here. I think another one would have to be, and a pretty, another one would have to be Pikachu's Goodbye, because this is the uh, one, of course, where they're in that forest taking a break. At the beginning, Ash is uh, trying to be like Tarzan or something by uh, swinging on a rope or whatever, and then he crashes into a tree, because, of course, in Season 1, Ash is uh, a bit clumsy. Anyway, this is where they come across the herd of wild Pikachu, and uh, then Ash decides that he wants to leave his own Pikachu there in the forest. But, of course, uh, his of course, Pikachu's not having any of it, and he... And he get, runs into Ash's arms as they're about to leave or whatever. Because he's like, I don't want to leave you, Ash. I'll always be your, by your side. Now, the funny thing about this episode is that this originally was not planned to be an episode of the anime. Wait, a bit of a fun fact was that this episode was made, was made particularly in response to what happened with the uh, Porygon incident. For those who probably don't know about that, let me explain what that was. There was an episode of the series that aired, I think a couple of days before Christmas, 1997, in Japan called Electric Soldier Porygon. And that episode had some bright flashing, re bright flashing lights or whatever, and it ended up causing about 700 or so Japanese children to be sent to the hospital with seizures. And uh, 
that episode has never aired aired again since, and that resulted in the anime being put on a four-month hiatus in Japan before finally returning with Pikachu's goodbye a few months later in April 1998. Naturally, of course, this episode is skipped in the English dub. If you've never seen this particular episode, well, chances are you're never going to be seeing it because it is banned. Uh, the Porygon one, that is. The Pikachu's Goodbye one, you of course can easily uh, find that on Pokemon TV. On the Pokemon TV app. Yeah, and then there's one more that I have on my favorites list here from Season 1, which is Attack of the Prehistoric Pokemon. Now, of course, at this point, Ash's Charmander is Charmeleon, but unfortunately, it stopped obeying him. And now, for thing I think, why is this? This is one of my favorites. Nothing really of noteworthy happens here, right? That's the case for much of the episode. But then, and I think in the second half of it, Eric Dacto grabs Ash on his wing and carries it. His claw or whatever, and carries him out of the cave, thinking that Ash is dinner. So as he's being carried out, Pikachu and Charmeleon hop up on Aerodactyl's tail because they want to train to save Ash. But then Aerodactyl picks up speed and ends up knocking off Pikachu and Charmeleon from Aerodactyl's tail. And then and Ash is calling for someone to get him down, and then Charmeleon is trying to do it, and then but Aerodactyl, he's insulting the way Charmeleon looks or whatever it is. And yeah, Charmeleon's not happy about it, and then he ends up evolving into arguably Ash's most powerful Pokemon during that era of the anime, Charizard. Now originally Ash thought that maybe the Charizard was evolved in order to Well, because he decided that Ash was a good trainer after all, but no, it turns out it was only the battle or adaptal for Pride. Now, of course, Jigglypuff comes along, puts everybody to sleep with a song, and yeah. And this is one of my favorite episodes from the uh, Pokemon anime. And from season one of the anime, that is. And we'll see you next time.